Hey guys, back. Just want to do another review on a uh, Bandit, the Bandit boat line that I'd started earlier. This here is a Bandit 55. It's a big sailboat, a yacht. Uh, it does have a higher land impact. You want to keep that in mind. So if you buy this puppy, you want to have a big area of land or make sure you take it out into the uh, open protected waterways to res it. You're talking over 100 prims easily. Uh, it's a very detailed boat. Has a lot of nice features to it. Interactable uh, things you can click on, open and close. Vents, windows. You have a menu. Here, let's see if I can access that menu here. Should come up, yeah. You have a single menu, uh, couples menu. I believe it even has a uh, adult menu on here. No partner found for couples animations. Okay, yeah, you gotta have a partner on the boat for couples. Very simple process. I do not have the motor going. You have two options on this boat. You can use your motor, which of course you would just uh, type in start in local chat, then your motor would come on. But in this case, I'm gonna do some sailing with the boat. And when you go into local chat after you res the boat, you wanna type in raise, hit enter. It brings up your front uh, silk here. That's your uh, God. What cell is that? Your spin maker cell or something like that? I'm not too sure, but but then your main cell, uh, you type in main after you type in uh, for the first cell. Then it raises this cell up. You want to lower your cells. Type lower in uh, local chat. So anyway, controls pretty simple. Arrow keys. Up and down so you can see how we're, we're cruising here because when you're sailing you got to catch the wind that the wind directions and I thought that I had a I think there's a you know, I'll have to double check that but I'm pretty sure there's a HUD display that you can bring up that would show up floating a floating HUD display over the uh, Bimini little uh, canopy thing here so yeah but of course, you know, being a high prim boat, you want to watch what's going on when you cross sims. Here, let's see if I can. Okay, yeah. Oop, I don't want to run into someone's house. Definitely don't want to do that. We'll go to explore people's houses uh, in another video. I'm not going to do it in a manner, you know, to grief or piss them off. But, you know, if I see some really nice builds, I'm going to pop in if they don't have those, uh, you know, protective yellow sick looking lines up around the property that I can't stand. That a lot of people can't stand. But, yeah, this is the band of 55, though. Look at that. We're out there sailing. Now, I'm trying to figure out here these the cell. It seems to be unresponsive. I mean, left and right mouse, or not mouse button, but uh, your arrow buttons turn you left and right. Oh, yeah. No, there we go. You don't want to, your, your, your up and down arrow buttons, they work your main cell, but don't do them uh, too fast. I was doing it too fast. You do it too fast, and yeah, you see, if you do it too fast, it'll actually like lag it out and freeze it up. So, yeah, but you can control your speed and everything going. That's a hell of a nice looking boat, though. Definitely is. Like I said, you got a bunch of different animations on there. You know, I can't show all of them to you. You know, you need to have a second person on here. Let's see what I might be able to show, though. Single. Uh, probably going to show stuff. Uh, yeah. Down the side, it's kind of hard to see when you're all linked up there. Here, let's check out the deck ones. Apply oil. Okay, yeah, so we're applying oil. Guess I'm supposed to be in a swimsuit or something for that. Back. Deck. Deck lounge. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, you can lounge on the deck. Put your swimsuit on. Get a suntan. Catch fish. Yeah, it's actually a, a 
pretty nice boat. Oh, swim. Yeah, yeah, you do have swimming uh, menus on this one. It looks a little bit weird. Not really. Dance. Oh, it's... Yeah, you want to turn your HUD off. Turn your HUD off when you're using these things. You got fishing on here. Obviously, I think you want to get a fishing pole. You have dive. Tuna diving. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. Catch a nice big tuna down there. Bring it up and I'll have a partner on the boat for me, right? Yeah, people, that's the Bandit 55. You know, it, it's a nice boat. It'll put you out uh, well over 3,000 Lindens, though. So, if you like your, your, your toys like I do, then, you know, it's worth it. Definitely. So, anyways, yeah. Just kind of a quick little uh, boat review. I'm trying to think what else I could tell you about it uh, that I haven't already said. I know you are able to change your textures on the boat. You can, like, come up with your own colors for, like, the deck. And, of course, you can uh, put your own texture on the flag if you want. You know, everyone's pretty much familiar with how to do that. I don't ever worry about it, but... Yeah, it's a good boat. So, hopefully everyone has a fun time with the boats and things they have. Hope these little uh, reviews help you guys out. Yeah, I know they're not too thorough, but oh well. You know, I'm not <laughs> claiming to be an authority on anything. Just having some fun, showing off some of the stuff I got. So, peace out, guys.